My grandfather's clock was too tall for the shelf, stood 90 years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, weighed not a penny, weighed more. It was bought on the morn of the day that he was born, always his treasure and pride. But it stopped short, never to go again, when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, tick-tock, tick-tock, life seconds numbering, tick-tock, tick-tock. It stopped short, never to go again, when the old man died. In watching its pendulum swing to and fro, many hours he had spent as a boy. And in childhood and manhood the clock seemed to know, and to share of his grief and his joy. Still it struck twenty-four when he opened up the door, with a blushing and beautiful bride. But it stopped short, never to go again, when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, tick-tock, tick-tock, life seconds numbering, tick-tock, tick-tock, it stopped short, never to go again, when the old man died. It rang an alarm in the dead of the night, an alarm that for years had been done. And we knew that his spirit was plumed for flight, and the hour of departure had come. Still the clock kept its time with a soft and muffled chime. We silently stood by his side, but it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, tick tock, tick. Talk, life seconds numbering, tick tock, tick tock, it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died.